Hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maida, and you're watching Maida Pours. Thank you so much for joining me today. If it's your first time here, you are very welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, well, thank you so much for coming back. It's really nice to see you again. So for today's pour, I'm gonna be doing another pearl pour. Um, I got, I've had, this is one of those, I have this painting in my head and I just have to try to get it on the canvas. We will see how it goes. So I have this Extreme Sheen Obsidian. Finding Extreme Sheen on the shelves of my Michaels has been proving very, very difficult lately. And when I saw this, I'm like, I've never used that color. I didn't really want to use that color, but I'm going to use this color because I can find it. And let's see, what, what can I do with it? So I think I'm feeling springy and Eastery or something. <laughs> <laughs> because I mixed up this very pale pink. Now this is like 99.97% white um, white acrylic. Uh, I'm sorry, Artist Loft um, Flow Acrylic White. And I literally put like a drop of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Red into the white and it created this really kind of pretty popcorn, I'm um, not popcorn, um, cotton candy pink color that I think is really pretty, especially next to the obsidian, um, which is this really shimmery, it's, it's black, maybe it's technically a very, very dark gray, but dark gray or black, I think they look fantastic um, next to this light shade of pink. So I wanna see it on a canvas and wish me luck in achieving my dreams here. <laughs> So let me get these paints out of the way and I'm going to get the canvas out and we're going to get to painting. Let's go. Okay, we've got the canvas here all ready to go. This is a pretty simple pour. I do have my obsidian mixed slightly thinner than my pink. My pink is very thin. The key to a successful pearl pour is the consistency of the paints. I feel you do want your top coat to be a little bit thinner than what you want to kind of push out. So you want your base color, your little pearl or your pearl color that you pour down first here, right in the center of the canvas. I did mix up the entire little two ounce bottle of this. So, and I mixed it one to one, one part paint to one part Floetrol. So there are about four ounces. I did add a little bit of water to thin it down, but this is about four ounces total that I put down for my pearl. I am gonna torch the bubbles out of that. And then I am going to take my pink color here, my cotton candy pink, which is mixed very thin. It leaves no mound at all when you drip, drizzle it into the cup. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pour it right over the center. About that much. I still have some left, but I'm gonna go ahead and torch. See if I can get that to turn on. Come on, there we go. Get those bubbles out. Get those bubbles popping. And now I'm gonna tilt. So we're gonna go off of that corner. I am actually gonna try my little technique here. I'm gonna pour some pink onto these corners. I forgot to do it on that corner. C'est la vie. And tilt that over there. Back to center. I do try to bring it back to the center every time I tilt. I'm gonna get over this corner. And then last but not least, oh dear. <laughs> well, let's see how that works out. I tilt that off the side, and now we're going to get this last corner covered. All the way. Bring it back to center a bit. And we're gonna see what develops here.
I have this is an explosion of cells I am like I'm blown away and I have grown accustomed to like succeeding at these types of ports but this is like wow I wasn't expecting all this this is amazing I've never had the empty like space in the middle close up so much like that um I'm I had I think this is done developing um I think it's all finished uh we'll see I'm glad that over this this corner at least does have like the pink showing through <laughs> I think I did that intentionally. I'd have, I need to go back and look at the video and see, is this the, one of the corners that I poured extra pink on or is it my first corner? And uh, my technique of covering the corners didn't work at all. I'm not sure I need to go back and look, but I love it. I'm literally blown away. It almost, it's like black pearls, um, but it also kind of has, I love the honeycomb effect almost in here. So this is just, a really fun painting. I love this pale pink against the black. I knew I needed to use a really like light color and I almost just used white but I wanted something else and this is exactly what I had in my mind. Um, I was not expecting so many um, pearls to pop up but I think they're um, I think it's a beautiful painting and I hope you think it's a beautiful painting too. So I'd love to hear what you think about it in the comments. I am of course going to bring you in for a close up and really get in here and show you, um, you know, the cells, <laughs> the pearls. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you enjoyed watching this video, please do give it a thumbs up. That just helps out with the algorithm so much, the infamous YouTube algorithm. Um, and also if you enjoy watching videos like this, please consider subscribing because acrylic paint pouring is what I do here. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay. So let me bring you in. I mean, the background is solid, that light pink color on the edges. It's almost white, but when you focus in, I think you should be able to see that the light pink, it's hard to see on camera, but it's very uh, visible. Gosh, it looks really light on camera. It's very visible to the um, like in-person naked eye, uh, so to speak, that it's got a very pink tinge to it. I mean, it's just, whew, I have, I don't think I've ever gotten this many uh, cells or pearls. I think these are definitely officially pearls before, but there's the first time for everything. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.